Industry Television Company Western Armenia represent the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. The 14th session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia took place. There are two Armenian states, Guillermo Karamanyan. The new year is celebrated on March 21st by Armenian native calendar. The 20th issue of Western Armenia has been published. Discussions on Artsakh in the U.S. Congress. Baku continues to create artificial symbols. The exhibition has been opened dedicated to 116th anniversary of Toros Turamanyan in the Vartnots Historical and Cultural Museum. On March 20, on the Skype online platform, the 14th session of the third convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held. During the session, Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, the first president of the Republic of Western Armenia, made an opening speech. He congratulated the citizens of Western Armenia and the indigenous Armenian population on the occasion of New Year, which this year is celebrated on March 20. The session was continued by the chairperson Nelly Harutsunyan, a chairperson of the National Assembly, and presented the law adopted by the National Assembly on Artsakh indigeneity and becoming part of Western Armenia, and expressed that the deputies of the Armenian National Assembly of Western Armenia should state their position, should express their position on Davush, our compatriots related to the process of cutting them from their cradle and their roots. Armena Gabrahamian posted a material that confirms both our indigeneity and our rights. The current subject was to pay tribute to our meritories on April 24 and 27 in Tizarna Gabbert Memorial. A number of current and agenda issues were also discussed. Guillermo Garamanian, ambassador of the Republic of Western Armenia to the Republic of Argentina, writes, all these military exercises were ordered by an international geopolitical force and earned the respect of the Armenian establishment until the patriotic veterans of the Artsakh war with their logical patriotic reaction and from Shushi themselves revealed the hidden and evil plan against us. In 2004, they began to create the state that would be as a continuation of the Armenian state of 1920, following all the principles of public international law in this regard. This hard work of Armenian patriots, disguised by international, geopolitical and the global Armenian media, gave birth to the Republic of Western Armenia, which is the legal continuation of the Armenian state of 1920 and they represent the only way to provide satisfactory statehood for all. With all the strength of Armenians in the world, in the Republic of Western Armenia and the diaspora saved for our patriotic causes, we will be able to develop real and viable alternatives to restore each of the Armenian provinces that I have detailed above and which are currently being temporarily appropriated by Turkey and Azerbaijan, which we, you and I, must restore as Armenian, following the mandate of our fathers and grandfathers and leaving the mandate to our children and grandchildren. Uh, why current Republic of Armenia cannot claim any territory that is administrated outside the 29,800 square kilometers? There is a historical and legal fact about which the vast majority of Armenians is not aware. The current Republic of Armenia in its 29, with an area of 8,000 square kilometers, it has become an independent and different country from historical Armenia in whose state was recognized by international public law in 1920 and by 30 countries around the world. This means that in 1991, September 21st was the day of the division of Armenian nation. This reality could have been different if the leadership of Soviet Armenian in 1990 and 1991 had acted with a strong sense of patriotism and had not agreed with geopolitical power to cede the vast majority of ancient and sacred Armenian territory which led to contempt. All of us don't realize that we were and are the descendants of the same Armenian people from which they distinguished themselves by their actions. They should have claimed the internationally recognized state of Armenia and declared themselves its successor only in 1920, but they decided to separate from us and become the only Armenians in the world, unnecessarily creating a new Armenian state and to our determined because we are aligned to it. March 21st is the Armenian New Year's Day. On the Arek day of the Arek month by the Armenian calendar, on the vernal equinox, we celebrate the Armenian New Year Easter, the dawn of spring. Since an ancient times, our Armenian ancestors celebrated the New Year 
on the Arek day of the Arek month on the vernal equinox. Nature is reborn in the spring and that's why our ancestors chose this day and celebrated it with a magnificent celebration, glorifying the awakening of nature. New Year of Easter is one of the four main holidays according to the Haigang calendar. The symbol of the day is fire. The period of fasting uh, began with the Terran days and at Easter during which the Haigazun Alevortis purified themselves both mentally and physically, preparing for the new year and new life. Armenian tab tables are decorated with various Armenian national dishes. The main decorations of the table are considered to be candle, which symbolizes the sun, the egg, beginning of the new life, malt, our goals and thoughts, wine as a sign of the Armenian man's endurance, will and persistence, maturity, and honey symbols of love and family sweetness. The holiday is accompanied by games, national songs and dances. The festival begins with the sunrise and the main rituals are performed at the time when the sun is at its highest point. This year, New Year history is celebrated on March 20, which is connected with being a leap year in the calendar. You can find other details related to the holidays on the website of Western Armenia Television on in the next issue of Western Armenian Weekly Magazine. The 20th issue of Western Armenia Weekly Magazine has been published. Western Armenian Weekly Magazine is dedicated to culture, art, Armenian identity and Western Armenia, which is part of Western Armenia TV. In the 20th issue of the Western Armenia Magazine, there are articles dedicated to the perception of public order in Western Armenia, the structure of Armenian identity in the world, information, influence, activities. In the 20th issue of the Western Armenian Weekly Magazine, you can get acquainted with the process of the destructions of the Armenian presence in the Armenian temples located in the occupied territories of Artsakh as a result of the last war by Baku. Armenian, English and French versions of the weekly newspaper in PDF format can be downloaded below. The United States Congress organized reversing genocide today discussion entitled Ensuring the Rights and Safe Return of Artsakh Native Armenians. Eliza von Yoden, 4G, the executive director of the Lemkin Institute for the Prevention of Genocide, international expert Garnik Kerkonian and others gave speeches during the discussion. Senator Ed Markey, co-chair of the Congressional Committee on Armenian Affairs, Frank Follen, Congressman Gebe Ammo, Judy Chu, Jim Costa, Seth Magaziner and Brad Schneider participated in the discussion. Representatives of Armenian Greek leaderships, Council and Christian Defense Organizations also participated. In the speech, the executive director of Lemkin Institute for the Prevention of Genocide, Eliza von Yonden Forge, referred to the ongoing genocide against the Armenians, considering what happened as a second genocide against the Armenians. She emphasized the threat to Armenian sovereignty both in South Caucasus and beyond in borders, including the Armenian quarter of Jerusalem. We must be clear that greatest threat facing Armenians in Armenia and beyond is that they are opposed by Baku, whose leader actively claims that Armenian territory is historically as if Azerbaijan, stating that Armenians are not indigenous to the region, she said. The speaker also presented the as a sense of Baku's genocidal policy towards Armenians and the current anti-Armenian attitude of Baku's dictatorial regime. The co-chairman of the Congress Committee on Armenian Affairs, Frank Pallon, paid special attention to the right of Armenians of Artsakh to return to their historical homelands and leave their lives there. In their speeches, the participants emphasized the safe implementation of the right of return of Artsakh residents, the need to work with the American executive in that direction, the increase of humanitarian assistance providing to Armenian the provision of military assistance to Armenia, the abolition of presidential privilege to refuse the applications on resolution number 907, the termination of the American ass assistance provided to Baku as well as the war bringing Baku to justice for crimes. After the end of 44 day war in 2020, the Baku propaganda machine circulated symbols of victory, one of which was directly related to the dictatorial leader of Baku, Ilham Aliyev. It is the so-called 
Iron fist during his speech at the end of the 44 day war, Ilham Aliyev showed his fist as a sign of victory while listing the names of the regions captured by Baku forces. The propaganda machine of Baku, starting from 2021, called the 2020 operation for the liberation of the occupied territories. Starting from 2021, this Iran fist gesture was given a great propaganda by Aliyev, with which the later showed his strength and willingness to punish the Armenian strike and break the enemy's head. During his visit to occupied Artsakh, Aliyev accompanied and concluded his speeches with such gestures. He used that uh, gesture when talking about Armenia and Artsakh in the same year, 2021. The Baku propaganda machine began to widely distribute photos of Aliyev with the corresponding gesture, and Baku started a parade of the installation of the so-called Iran Fist status. These symbols persuading an obvious propaganda goal were placed exclusively in occupied Artsakh in Hadrut, Berdur, judging by the videos and information spread by the Baku. Baku propaganda machines such as statue implant to be installed in Stepanakert as well. It is not by chance that after the occupation of Stepanakert, the statue of Stepan Shahamyan was immediately dismantled and even the subject of dismantling the monument, we in our mountains began to spread on the internet. It is obvious that he carries direct aggression in his ear and fist against any manifestation of Armenian nation. The exhibition dedicated to the 116th anniversary of Toros Taramanyan, the son of Western Armenia, devotee of ar architecture, scholar of Armenian architecture, the founder of history, was opened in the Zvartnots Historical and Cultural Reserve Museum. The collection represents Toramanyan's activities in different regions of Western Armenia and Eastern Armenia. Measurements, photographs of architectural monuments, scientific work, letters, travel notes, as well as the 1927, due to the efforts of Toramanyan, the remains of elephant, which are about 705,000 years old, were found from the sand pit site called Kazachi Post in the northwest outstrike of Gyumri during the sand pit operation. The exhibits are from the personal archive of Toros Toramanyan and Aram Burui, which are kept in the funds of the Historical Cultural Reserve Museum and Historical Environment Preservation on Service. Some are being shown for the first time. The remains of the elephant were brought from the Geological Museum for temporary display. Toros Toramanyan carried out his creative and scientific activities, the enormous work of his whole life, in difficult times and conditions, at the loss of many deprivations. This was all for today. Goodbye. Go, 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 go